Hey guys, what's up? This is going to be a short version of how to use my converter. Basically, you need three things. Uh, basically, download the two, the two links in, in, the, in the description below for the two files. And also, you're going you're gonna to need a working version of a 1.0 editor. All right. Basically, it has to be a legit install, and it's either going to be a working trial or a working registered version. And uh, also, you must be able to launch the, the program through the command prompt. So uh, if, like, say, you open up, like, CMD from, a, uh, from an Explorer window, or you should be able to type in a uh, 1.0 editor from here and open up the program and such. All right. If you can't do that, you're going to have to figure out why you can't do it. Otherwise, this process won't work for you. All right. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. So what you need to do is get the tags in converter and extract it somewhere. I have that on my desktop. You're going to have one batch file in there. So right after extracting it, run that one batch file to make a new batch file that sets the current folder that it's currently at. For the actual converter you're going to need to uh, actually what's this for the actual converter you're going to need to actually put into your drive C folder if you don't have a drive C folder you're gonna have to modify uh, modify the batch file to whatever root uh, uh, drive you, you you put this on all right so I'm, I'm gonna put this on, uh, on my drive C it has to go around right your drive C on the root folder again if you don't have it you can go into here you can right click on the batch file go to edit and modify the path to whatever drive letter that you did put it on all right so uh, yeah, it is what it is, but that's just how it is. Uh, yeah, I explained in the full video why I didn't do it. I think if if I did, it's because I, I was lazy. I didn't want to rewrite everything that I put into here. All right, so uh, yeah. So anyway, the, the weapon I'm going to be showing you is uh, basically this weapon. So I'm, I'm gonna take it out, reconvert it, and show you the processes of how to do it. This mainly was made for doing weapons, helms, and shoulder models, all right? It doesn't work for everything. It, it only works for basic stuff. But as you can see, it works for some pretty cool stuff. And yeah, in the full video, I covered a whole lot of other things. And in, 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 in the if you're watching this on, like, uh, on, uh, on a forum, um, then uh, I should have loads of pictures showing what I've converted and such. All right, so uh, yeah, so let's get to it. And uh, let me take out that sword so you can can actually see the whole process of whatever. So if, if I take it out and I'll log back in so I can show you that it is in, uh, uh, truly missing. All right, it's called a sword, two hand, death wing, something. All right, so right uh, right here. So just take out this into file. Yada yada yada. Go back to the game. You'll see that I have a box for an item now and uh yeah so there it is it's missing so within my uh my uh 434 mpq file i'll take out the m2 in the skin file <coughs> i sh i should write this somewhere but um uh, this is mainly made for uh actually it was made when i was making it i made it to work with m2 files that came from mr pender or cataclysm that were downported within john's tool and my particular thing basically tag teamed down to lich king all right so if you grab it from draenor and it has particles it may not work if it doesn't have particles it should work but if it doesn't well that's what it is um yeah so also that also means that wrath lich king m2 files will not work because this was not made for those particular ones in mind all right, so I'll extract the, uh, the basically the M2 file and, and, and the skin to where I put the uh, tag team. I right, paste it into here, extract plain name so it doesn't put it into folders and such. All right, run this here. Make sure O1 is not opened at all before you run any of these processes. All right, so run this, let it go through, let it finish, and once it's done, there we go. All right, so these are not converted, and if you wanted to, you can open the M2 file in, in O1 editor, run the M2 template, and it should apply fine. All right. Um, so drag and drop uh, the uh, the M2 in the skin file to basically the converters folder into the TB verter folder, all right, and uh, drag and drop it into here. Uh, usually I do way more than this at a time. I I I usually do a couple like 20 or 50 or 60 M2 files, but one is good good for this uh, particular demo. All right, so run this, let that finish, and it's gonna go through yada 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 finish done. All right. Once it's here, it's going to be put into the, the finish and two file will be put in, into the finish folder. And uh, so just drag and drop this, put it back into a patch. And uh, go to weapon, uh, item, object, weapon, drag and drop this back into here, yada, 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 click OK, etc. I already have all my stuff set up, the textures, the DBC files, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, I'm just doing the M2 file. But as you can see right there, bada bing, bada boom, simple, easy. All right, so I got the... M2 file. Now this doesn't work for everything, all right. So this is 
again mainly made for simple things so things like creatures and shit or things that have like a lot of bones a lot of animation sets and uses animation files and shit like that it's not gonna work all right um this will only make use of the first skin file but as i have found out it doesn't really matter if you have all four skin files added in or not it could be because all tbc files will take the first skin well basically it always have has four skin files so basically the converter takes the first skin files and duplicates it by four and there and there we go uh so you, ba you basically always have four anyway so uh yeah i haven't found any weird differences if i didn't have all four i do have a version of the converter where it grabs uh, all the skin files if there's multiples uh, but there's really no point I haven't found an actual reason to include that at, uh, uh, at all so so yeah that's just my particular take on it um, yeah that's pretty much it so enjoy good luck and uh, yeah alrighty bye, -bye.